G'day everyone, welcome to Nick's Hobby Match. My name is Nick, and in this video today, we're going to be painting the Celeste Ballista crew. Um, yeah, let's get into it. The first color to go on is corn red, and that's just going on the front parts here. done. Some places have to do it for a second time, but I'll do that soon. The next color to go on is the Bugman's glow, and that's just going on this guy's head. Up on the up on the arms here. I believe it's yeah it's the same on this one too, just on the arms there. Cantar blue. That's just going on the shoulder pad and down along the edge, all the way down on the edge. Yeah. yeah. back and on the sheet and on there. The next color to go on is this Corox white, 
And that's just going on the outside here and the inside of there. And I believe that's it. On both. The next colour to go on is a lead belcher, and that's just going on quite a bit. It's going on this part here, on the outside of that there, on this, on this Ubalaki over here, um, on the tops of that there, on the inside here, and on that little part there, and up. Here. And I believe that's everything. I believe that was everything. Next colour going is this Mephiston Red, and that's just going on a little um, thing going down the back of the sword there. Next thing to go on is the Scream of Pink, and that's just going on the sheath of the weapons. Next thing to go on is this Retributor Armour, and that's just going on all the gold areas. Alright, let that dry and go from there. First shade to go on is the normal oil, and that's going on all the silver areas and on this parchment on the red here. The next thing to go on is the Rakeland flesh shade, and that's just going on all the on all the skin coloured areas, like here and underneath the arms. And sorry, I also forgot to say that the Rakeland flesh shade goes on the arm areas as well. Crimson, and that's just going on. That's just going on all of these parts. Last the thing to go on is the Drake and Off Nightshade, and that's just going on all the blue areas. Alrighty, let 
that dry and see what the result is. doesn't like to sit in a hot place. My Korox white has uh, basically killed itself. It's gone all lumpy and crap. I could barely freaking get it onto the model. But yeah, I really enjoy painting these, except for the white. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did, please subscribe and leave a comment and a thumbs up and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!